Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to more Fire Emblem, the Sacred Stones. I'm base 6286, and we're qu quickly approaching the end of uh, the main story here. Kind of exciting. Anyways, let's head to Roston. Finally, we have to explore the last area of the map here. The Sacred Stone of Verneus has been broken. Constant strife with dark creatures has made the group's progress near impossible. Princess Larachelle of Roston suggests they pay a visit to Roston Court. It is here that the final sacred stone is sealed away. Larachelle rides cheerfully toward her homeland with the company in tow. Chapter 19, Last Hope. Home at last, my dear sweet palace. Uncle, I've returned. Oh, Larichel, it's good to see you're safe. Of course I'm safe, Uncle. Evil can never defeat the forces of righteousness. Ha! You're exactly right, my dear. Now tell me, who are your our guests? Pontifex Mansell of Roston, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Erica, Princess of Reneus. I come to you today as an emissary of Fralia. And I am Ephraim, Prince of Reneus. I come with Erica to warn you of the danger our world faces. It began when... we had a flashback. Hmm, I see. That is a tough tale to swallow all at once. However, I have heard of the fell creatures in Darkling Woods. Largell, you will need the Stone of Rostin if we have any hope of victory. That is so, Uncle. I would like permission to open the Temple Seal. Hmm. There's no need to rush yourself, Largell. You're home again, in this blessed haven. You should rest. How can I relax until I know that our sacred stone is safe? At the least, I'd like to ensure that the temple seal is intact. Oh. Is something amiss? I think we'll take a night to rest after all. Everyone is so exhausted. My dear friend Erica especially has a, had a very tiring time of late. And by tiring, I mean trying. Come on, Ephraim, cheer up. What are you talking about, Tana? There's nothing wrong with me. I'm always like this. And why are your eyes so squinty? That's not true. I've never seen you look so sad as you do right now. If you're depressed, I'm sure my brother would worry. And I, well, I... Tana, you're the Princess of Fralia. Perhaps it's unwise of you to be so friendly to Erica and me. After all, alliances aside, our two countries' needs may differ. Who knows what the future holds? Those ties could snap in an instant. No, don't say that. And why not? You and Erica are both my friends. We come from different countries, it's true, but... But... No matter what happens, the friendship I feel for you will never change. I'm sorry, Tana. I wasn't thinking straight. Please don't cry. Ephraim? You're right, though. No matter what happens, the bond between us will never disappear. And it's because Lion is my friend that I have to put an end to this. Thank you, Tana. <laughs> Guard duty at this time of night? Such a diligent soldier. Huh? Who goes there? Where are you looking? I'm over here. Whoa. No, no, here. I'm over here. What's wrong? I'm right here. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Is this darkness too deep for you to penetrate? Can't you see what the night is hiding? Attack! Oh, crap. Oh, snap! <laughs> Humans will never conquer darkness. The guardian of the light, Rostin, will drown in a never-ending night. Come, my pretties, it's time to go. The day of Rostin's destruction has long last arrived. Well, that can't be good. Your holiness, there's been an attack. We think it's Grotto's men fleeing from Valia's fortress forces. However, they've breached the palace defenses at multiple points. What? The Imperial Guard is at a terrible disadvantage of numbers right now. It's a less a battle than a slaughter. I'm not sure they will be able to hold out until the Knights of Rostin arrive. How has this happened? Our sacred capital invaded? I must... Uncle, please, you must keep yourself safe. We can take care of this. Is everyone ready to go? Of course we are. Prince Ephraim will take care of this. Please. Brother. I'm sorry. I've been useless and worse lately. I'm over it now. I'm ready to fight. Let's go. Take out the enemy and protect Pontifex Mansell. Heck yeah, let's pick units. Alright, man, we're back. It took a little 
well, it took a lot longer than usual to uh, make the preparations for this map, mainly because this is probably one of the, the harder maps, if not one of the hardest maps in the game that you're going to have to deal with. Um, for one, as you can see, it's nighttime, so we've got darkness problems. So we're going to have to be contending with that. Um, to help out with that a little bit, I have a torch staff here on Natasha. Um, I also have both Renek and Kolm. Although I have both of them for another reason, mainly because there's some treasure over here, as well as over here. And um, we do have a time limit on this map. We have 13 turns we have to survive. So I'm going to need both of them to kind of split up and uh, take both of those areas on their own. So that's that's that. Um, uh, there's also... Um, uh, we have a bunch of green units here. We have to protect the Mansell here, the Pontifex, from getting killed. Um, so that's our main goal for this chapter, is to prevent him from dying. Um, main areas you're going to want to worry about are right here. Well, well, we'll get into that more later, I guess. Um, basically, the place is dark. There's a lot of enemies that you're going to have to worry about. Um, so make sure you just kind of plan accordingly. You're going to want probably h mainly high defense users down here um, with maybe like some decent resistance because there, there'll be some mages but it's going to be mostly melee fighters aren't here and there will be bow users too so that's why i'm not sending uh cormag and tana down there because i kind of want to avoid those bow users although i suppose i could get, give cormag like the philly shield but uh he also has very low resistance so that's the other reason why i'm not sending him down there or will be sending him anyway well let's just let's go on and i'll I'll talk more about this map as we get through it. <laughs> the day is coming, and swiftly, the day of our triumph, our vengeance. Self-righteous fools of Rostin, where are your miracles now? March on, march minions of the Demon King, your time is upon you. Tonight we claim not only Pontifex Mansell's sad life, but also Rostin's sacred stone. <laughs> you cretin. Cell. I will have my revenge. You should never have excommunicated me. The Demon King will be your new master. I think he excommunicated you for good reason. Lion is my friend, as I've said like 50 times now. No matter what has happened, that one fact will not change. I know this. I will not falter in my resolve. Lion, because I'm your friend, I will strike you down. They're really uh, pushing that point, aren't they? Alright, so first things first. We're going to have... Um, Tana and Cormhag kind of head down to this uh, southeastern area. They're going to kind of pave the way for Renak to get down there. Uh, we're going to have Loot and Ross start heading over here. So let's get going. Oh, man. Really? Ah, shoot. I really don't want to... Uh, I'm trying to get Loot to use more of her uh, light magic, but it doesn't look like it's working too well. Um, let's have Ross just go here, I guess, and give him the Iron Axe. This probably isn't going to really help, but, yeah, not so much. Well, we can't really give these guys any, uh, any room to attack, so we're just going to have to... I really don't want to use Anima Magic, because I'm trying to build up Loot's Light Magic ability, but looks like I'm kind of stuck, so she'll probably get a weapon increase. Yeah, there you go. Alright, well, we can't max out light now. You can only have one S rank in, a, in something, so looks like that's going to be anima for, for loot. Alright, Reeve is the boss of this place. He's going to be chilling out somewhere down here, I believe. Um, you can go after him and try and kill him. It's, it's going to be... You're going to have to rush for him, though, and I mean fast. So, the chances of me actually doing that pretty slim. We'll see what I can do, though. If I can get down there fast enough, I might be able to uh, rush him a little bit. If you manage to kill him, you'll end the chapter. So, there's that. Um, let's send Amelia to scout. Alright, then we'll send Ford. Alright, and then Erica can head up next to Ford. And then Naomi can get right here. To, yeah. And let's give her the Iron Sword for now. This group is going to be heading up here because there's going to be reinforcements. I believe a bunch of warriors are going to be spawning up around that area. So they're going to be taking care of that section. Um, Ross and Loot, and I'm also going to send Ephraim down here. They're going to be taking care mainly with uh, this southern 
little hole area, there's going to be a huge mass of enemies and reinforcements that are just going to be pouring in this area. So we're going to need some serious uh, defense around there. Uh, for other characters, you can take like 17 characters in here. So I'm keeping kind of Cyrene and Murr are kind of here just in case someone sneaks in past all of my defenses. I have someone that can kind of guard, help guard Mansell. Um, Natasha is going to kind of uh, help out with uh, being able to see. And I gave her a psychic staff so she has some ranged healing in case all hell breaks loose and I need some healing. And yeah, look at all those enemies up there. She also has a rescue staff in case I, I need it. So She's kind of my uh, oh crap character. Like something happens and I'm like oh crap and I can use her to save them. So there you go. But uh, yeah, you're also going to see um, some more, a lot more powerful enemies showing up here now. So you want to be, at this point in the game, I, you have to have pretty much everyone promoted, I'd say. Like if you have unpromoted units, you're, you're going to be in, you're going to be hurt, hurting, so. But my team's pretty, pretty good right now, so we shouldn't have too much trouble. They're just gonna the the sheer number of enemies in this map is pretty ridiculous. So that's the main thing we're gonna be contending with is just kind of keeping control of the hordes, really. And as you can see, all of these uh, green knights really aren't going to be doing much much good for us. And yeah, there there come the warriors. All right, where do we want to take care of first? Uh, oh, I guess it's the the allies' turn, huh? God, they're such a waste of space. All they really are good for is just being uh, cannon fodder, really. They eat up experience, though, which is not cool. Although, they're not doing a good job of it at the moment. Alright. Okay, finally our, our turn. Let's see what we can do here. We got... Amelia probably isn't going to be able to cut through this armor. Um, yeah. Shoot. Poor Amelia. Alright, well, let's send in... Oh, man, even you, Ford? Looks like my guys are just a little too underleveled at the moment. Not very cool. Um, or you can take care of this guy, so let's do that at least. Ow. Okay, that's not good. Would be nice to have a healer up there, but... Uh, don't really have the option of that at the moment, but that's kind of why I have Natasha. She should be able to take care of them with her psychic staff, for the most part. Uh, let's see if we can rush uh, Amelia in here. This will work out well. All right, and finish that guy off. Yeah, it's going to be kind of slow going on this chapter, compared to, especially compared to the last two, so we'll just do what we can. Let's see, we can finish this guy off pretty quickly. I wonder if Ford could do a better job of this guy. Yeah. Um, can you perhaps shortbow this guy? No. Well, maybe. Let's give it a try. Maybe she'll get a critical. Nope, not on the first go. Yeah. <laughs> Just enough damage, just barely enough. That worked out well. Go, Naomi. You're becoming much more useful now that you've been promoted. That happens a lot with characters. They might be uh, just a pain to deal with unpromoted, but once you promote them, then they'll uh, they'll get a jolt of usefulness. So that's good. All right. Took care of him. We're we're doing pretty good up there. All right, now for this mess down here. Let's uh, let's see, level two and level one. So let's have you swing down here, and actually, let's let's do this first. Let's have you take care of this guy. Nice one shot. You don't get to see that too often with a swordmaster. All right, then we can swing Marissa down here, and she can take care of this other druid. Yeah, yeah. Let's have that on backup, but mainly go for the Iron Blade. All right. And still has pitiful accuracy. All these enemy dark, dark use, magic users have terrible accuracy. Works well for me though. 
Alright, good stuff. Not so good stuff, but fine. Okay, um, let's have Ephraim head down here. And let's just keep him on the, uh, the Iron Lance for now. Okay, good stuff. Then we can do this. I think, no, not, well, we'll, we'll try this. This guy's got a, ooh, yeah, critical. Nice. Valkyries are almost exactly the same as Mage Knights, really. Their their attacks and their criticals look look all the same. The, even their sprites are this, pretty much the same. The only real difference is that uh, I think Valkyries have like some hats. And um, let's send the restore. I don't think we shouldn't need that. Yeah, Valkyries have like hats, and they can use light magic instead of the anima magic. So it's it's really the only difference. Let's see you send you here. Yeah, the Iron Axe should do well. And, good, we can get to this guy. Excellent. Ah, a real shame I had to resort to using that uh, anima magic at the time, but oh well. Okay, now we should be fine sending Colm this way. We want to get him over to those chests as quickly as we can. Alright, we're doing good down here. Okay, so now we just have to deal with Renak and these, uh, my wyvern team here. So let's take out this guy with Cormag. And then maybe I'll have Renak finish off the uh, other, other one there. Since these guys aren't giving that much experience anyway, I'm not too much I'm not too concerned with Tana losing out on it. Of course if you can't actually kill him, that doesn't work out too well. So let's try this then. Uh actually I have an axe reaver, I suppose I could use that. Wait, what's his accuracy like? Eh, his accuracy isn't that great anyways, so... <laughs> and I got a critical, so yeah. Good thing I didn't waste that Axe Reaver on him. But yeah, that's crap for experience, though. Alright, Renak, let's send you here. Don't want to move him too far ahead, otherwise he's going to get caught. And it looks like uh, Cormag's already going to get caught, so that's not so good. But I think he'll be okay. And as you can see, we're already getting uh, swarmed here. And yeah, these enemies are going to have uh, pretty good weapons too, as you can already tell. Guy's going with a brave sword. But Ephraim can take it. Good stuff. Alright. Ooh. That'll come in handy. Really, really good weapon to give... Uh, both to heroes. Heroes are your standard users for brave weapons, it seems, but I find that brave weapons are really deadly on uh, sword masters, too, because uh, they have a, a natural high hit and high critical, so they're pretty much going to get guaranteed four chances at uh, attacking an enemy, and with the high critical, that's a really high chance of at least one of those blows landing and being a critical blow, so really... Yeah, I don't know. Brave weapons are pretty much good on any character, though. They're they're just really good weapons. And it looks like Ephraim's gonna just soak up a shit ton of experience here. I don't know why none of those sword users are going after Ross. Maybe they can't reach him. I'll just go with that. Oh, I see you heroes sneaking up. And yet another Ross the Knight goes down. Oh, two go down. Man, there you go. These warriors slowly closing in on me with a sniper coming up. Oh, he's going after the Rost Rost at night. That works out, I guess. Oh, running away to heal. Fine, whatever. Do what you guys need to do. And even though we can't really see it, that's a bunch of reinforcements showing up there. So let's uh, let's inch Ephraim forward a little bit along with Ross. And uh, likewise, let's send a loot up here, and, uh, is he injured? Not really. And a Lari Chow, too. There we go. I suppose I could have given that Brave Lance to Ephraim, but whatever. Alright, let's send Marissa over here to scout out the uh, darkness. I don't want to send uh, Colm in here too quickly, because I know there's going to be some enemies showing up there eventually. But it looks like we're the coast is clear for now. Vision shifted a little bit, so let's head up here and see what we can do up here. Should be able to take care of either of you. Alright, let's get rid of the steel bow user over here. Alright, 
He's down. What do we got here? We got some heroes with steel blades and ranged warriors there. So let's go. Let's see if we can do not enough. Yeah, still not enough. Hmm. What can you do? Yeah, this is not looking too good for me. So let's let's take care of this bow user at least. Uh, let's see, we've got sword users and axe users, so let's go with the sword. One nice thing about Grace, Great Knights is their versatility with weapons. They can, uh, you can pretty much have them in, in whatever situation you're in. You can kind of equip them in a way that they won't be too disadvantaged, which is nice. Let's do sword for you. Um... Come on, miss. Oh, shoot. Oh, well. Once Naomi heads in there, their support will reactivate, and that'll help things help things along. Alright, let's go for the Iron Sword. Man, so close. So close. That's frustrating. Oh, well, we'll just go for the sword. Maybe she'll get a critical. Probably not. <laughs> their criticals with swords are really cool. At least... Wait, I might be thinking of something different. Maybe I'm thinking of a different game. Or a different version of Fire Emblem. I don't know. Uh, okay, let's have Tana head in. She can take care of this guy. Yeah. One shot? No. Iron Lance it is. Hopefully this guy won't get a hit in. That would... Actually, I'm not sure it would make a difference. Yeah, it wouldn't have. Oh well. That works out. Oh, one point away. I don't get a weapon level increase though. Does she uh has she maxed that now? Yep. So she can now use uh the legendary Vidofner. The the main lance there. Alright, let's have Cormac go here. Okay, we're good on that side, good there. Alright, we're good. See what happens. Ha! No chance. Nice. Alright. I'm assuming that one guy is going to go for range, probably. Because that would be the most advantageous towards him. Yeah, what? he definitely could have reached Ross. That's weird. <laughs> and Ephraim's just like, You fool! I killed you now. Alright. Now oh, what do we got here? Oh, Silver Axe user, huh? Mm. <laughs> no match for Ephraim either way. <laughs> Still just crits him and kills him off. Man, Ephraim's gonna get a ton of levels from this. Not that I'm gonna complain about that. Although it would have been nice to have it uh, spread out evenly. Maybe I'll maybe I'll switch him off with someone after a bit. Man, why are they getting these hits? <laughs> Amelia is mad too. Look, she's just gonna charge him. Like, what the heck is wrong with you? I don't agree with this. No, oh, level up. More strength. Oh. She's getting lots of skill and speed. I wish she would get some more strength, though. Alright, miss. Thank you. Aw, oh, come on. Crit, crit, crit. No. Oh, well. Alright, what's that one warrior gonna do? I'm assuming he's gonna go for the, the bow. If he actually does something here. There we go. Yeah. I knew it. Oh, well. It matters not. Oh, and then the sniper showed up. Oh, he's got a brave bow. Man, yeah, look at all these brave weapons showing up. I believe they all—all all the people using these brave weapons will drop them though, so that's uh, that's nice. All right. Freaking Roston knights and more reinforcements. <laughs> 